because my family has been really sick and I really haven't had time to do it but I'm trying to be better I still have two more videos to upload after this after before this one so what we're gonna be doing I'm gonna be taking a bath right now do my makeup I might show you guys what um things I use for today and I might make that a video I'm not sure but if I don't um you also guys gonna gonna see me either in this video or the next um we're gonna be going shopping at Walmart and I'm gonna be showing you guys um little gifts that you can buy for your family members are not that expensive. Hopefully maybe thirty to twenty five dollars or under of you know, kids, men, um, women, your girlfriends, um, you know, like uh your mom, stuff like that. Um little things that you guys can get or little different items to make like a care package i know i love making care packages and i think they're so awesome and really inexpensive really and a lot of these stuff you also can get at the dollar store for a dollar at the dollar tree so um yeah keep that keep that in mind so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today or tomorrow or i don't know when i'm gonna post that video of my main two videos out of this one out of this day but um let's see where the day takes us but yeah Okay, guys, so we're gonna do a little bit of makeup. So let me just turn on my lights. I'm sorry for my squeaky chair. You hear that? It's my chair, I apologize. <laughs> okay. So, we're just gonna do our makeup really, really quickly. Again, I apologize for my chair. It's really noisy. I'm gonna start with my primer, it's a baby skin by Maybelline. And it's currently like 11 something. I'm not sure. And I'm just gonna put some on my hand. About that much. That's even a little too much, but. I'm just gonna spread it on my face. Just dibbling that up. So welcome to Vlogmas 16. I guess I didn't say it earlier. Um, yeah, welcome to Vlogmas 16. Hmm. So I'm just gonna be showing you guys a quick makeup look to go shopping for your holidays. The things like that 
I'm basically right now on the run to go to Walmart and do some shopping. Not shopping shopping, but I'm gonna show you guys what you guys can shop for. I'm not really shopping today. I don't think I'm gonna buy anything. Because I don't need nothing right now, but um, I'm gonna be showing you guys what you guys can buy. I'm using my Tarte Shape Tape in the color light beige. You guys can see it. So it's 2 2 b just like beige. So let me get it out. Take a little bit of the excess off and just um, spread it right here on, on, uh, uh, underneath our eyes like that. And I'm going to put a little bit on my nose. And in the little spots that I want to cover a little bit more. I really want to get the Born This Way concealer. Have you guys tried that one out? I've really been wanting to try that one because I wonder if it would like work really good with the foundation. fully blend my under eyes with the beauty blender underneath my eyes with the concealer I just kind of despair it a little bit <clears throat> and just to get a little bit of all the excess off and then I'll go in with my finger but like that works best with this foundation not foundation but concealer because the warmth of this finger your ring finger is the best one to blend when you're if you're blending with your if you're blending with your finger the best finger to use. So about there. Now we're gonna be setting our under eye and our face with the airspun um uh, translucent extra coverage extra coverage um powder. And we're gonna be using the Morphe E1 for the for all our face. <clears throat> I'm gonna be using my beauty blender for underneath my eyes. Let's do our eyebrows. My eyebrows always usually look really, really dark on camera. I don't know why they don't look like that on person. Mm. Okay. I use. Oh my goodness. I use the precisely my brow pencil by Benefit. Yes, I've probably seen this one. It has a spoolie on the end and it has a product on the other end. So what I do, I usually just comb them real fast. Really quickly. Comb them and then take the other part off. Pull it out. And just kind of like my eyes. The bronze we're going to be doing using is the Tarte um, Park Avenue Princess. I love this bronzer. I need to buy another one. I'm pinning pan already. And I love using this brush with it. It's the Morphe R3. And it's like <laughs> coming off the name. But it's just like pointed uh, brush. Just kind of go in there, tap off the excess, and just go to town. Cheeks underneath, jawline, right under, and then our forehead. Now to do our nose contour, I use the same powder, the same bronzer, so the different brush. The brush that I use is um. 
is the Morphe. Isn't that gunmetal uh, collection? It's a Morphe G41. It's just this flat brush. And I just kind of go in there and just contour my nose a little bit. on contouring noses I will let you know that I feel like my nose can be contoured so much better just haven't learned a technique a good technique for my nose so that's basically what we have to go with right let me see that's me for right now you can see me better all right now we're gonna do blush um I'm gonna be using the morphe e4 it's a slanted brush like that and I'm gonna be using my favorite blush, which is Cabana Boy by the Bomb. And we're gonna be um, putting it on our cheeks. I also put a lot of blush because my blush somehow kind of disappears. Huh? I don't know. And I do like putting a little bit of the excess on my chin, my upper lip, and my forehead. Just to all around above my face. If you guys are wondering why I'm putting it all over. <laughs> so after that, I am going to um, curl my lashes. Alright, now I'm gonna do some eyeshadow. I'm probably just gonna be because I'm doing something completely natural, I don't wanna spend too much time thinking about what I'm going to do. I'm just going to be using my Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to be going in with my favorite transition shades, which are these bottom two. And the, num the names are Raw Sierra Sienna and Burnt Orange. Um, and I'm just going to be mixing those like this. Look, I'm going to be mixing this one and mixing this one. Just going like that. Tapping off the excess and then just applying it to my eye. I'm gonna, gonna usually just go like this and you're not filling in this, well, for some looks, but I want it all over because I'm not gonna do too much. So that's why I'm, I'm kind of bringing it down to my whole lid. I'm gonna be doing the same, doing the other eye. And I feel like also, Having good lighting also helps your makeup application because I remember when I used to have good light, I would add and add and add and that look like a freaking clown or the opposite, I wouldn't add as you know enough where I look like I didn't put anything on. So I'm gonna show you what I have in front of me. So I have my mirror, hello, and I have those lights. I'll put a link down below where I got them from. I got them from Amazon. They're really good price. Um, they're not expensive. And they're just like those thick line strips. And I bought that mirror at Walmart for like probably $10 or less. I'm going to see if I can find it for you guys at Walmart when we go right now. When we go. Um, well, you'll probably already see that. Yeah, and you'll see that video tomorrow. Um, and... Um, I'll show you guys if I found it and how much it is. I think it's about like $10 or less. And then I'm gonna go with Cyrus Umber. I think that's how you pronounce it, but it's the only dark brown shade. I'm just gonna be like, I'm gonna be doing this. Just gonna be like this. Like, I don't want that much. And tapping off the excess. And I'm just gonna be doing it in my outer corner. Like that. If you guys don't have this palette, I know, I think, or maybe it's not no longer, but sometimes Ulta has it on sale. I know I got this one on sale for like, I think it was like, I don't even know, what's the regular price for this? I think it's 42, right? 46? 
and got it for like half, nine and a half, but a little bit less than that. I got it really cheap. Um, in one of those sales that they had. It's a good palette. It's a good, like, I feel like everybody should have this palette. It's a good, well-rounded palette. If you guys are thinking of what to get somebody that likes makeup or is getting into makeup or just wants makeup in general, this is a good starter, well-rounded palette. If you don't have it, this is a good one. And that's all the colors. It's a good palette. I will totally recommend this one. And I'm gonna go with in with Rigo, which is the orange shade. I'm good. I'm just gonna tap it very lightly because I don't want it too round. And I'm gonna go over my lid with it. And I'm gonna tap tap a little bit into um, a love letter which is one of the pink ones here just tightly put it on my lid just to get a little bit of pink in there and say I'm wearing a pink shirt just kind of like stippling it okay love letter tapping off the excess and then just on my lid though over my lid so it's a little bit more And then I'm gonna get a clean brush. I'm gonna be using this Morphe, Morphe M505. You guys have probably heard of this one. It's a good blending brush. And I'm just gonna be um, blending the outside like that. Super dark in the camera. Okay, so you guys can see a little better we're working with. It's really pretty. Okay, so now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be um, we're gonna be putting some mascara and then we're gonna be putting some highlighter on. For mascara, I wanna show you guys this one is the one I would usually wear in the telescopic mascara by L'Oreal. And my mom has just recently gotten me this one. And I don't know what it is from. It's the brand Prosa Mascara. And this is Maxi Volume. And it's in Spanish. I don't know. I don't know where it's from or whatever. If I find any, like, information about it, I'll totally link it down below. But I want to kind of use it, so I would use that one. So if you guys can, you know, try to make this look, it's probably use something like that. But this is the brush. It's thick. It doesn't smell like anything. And I'm going to be cutting my lashes. Oh my god. And eyelashes went in my eye. that hurt oh my goodness I will say this brush is hard to work with it is so big it's hard to work with this brush my, my eye Whew, okay I'm gonna put it back in and do my other eye and then come back to the side of the under. <sighs> the mascara is going everywhere. But not everywhere, but you can definitely see that. You know how I went right there. My front facing phone is not the best. If you guys are wondering what phone that I have, it's the iPhone X or iPhone 10, whatever you guys want to call it. I 
know some people are like, it's not the iPhone X, it's the iPhone 10. People are like, no, it's the iPhone X. I don't know. It's iPhone X to me because it says iPhone X on the screen. I mean, not on the screen, but on the packaging. So now I'm gonna do my um, under lash. See, my mom bought this one, and she bought another one that's a little smaller. But that one's supposed to be lengthy, and this one's supposed to be volume. So let's check the volume one then. I know the differences. So now I'm gonna be using um. The un under armor, <laughs> the un Urban Decay Sin uh, highlighter in the color Sin, which is this one right here. Um, I just have it in this type of packaging, and I'm gonna be using my favorite highlighting brush, which is by Lux. By Luxie, it's a 504 um, large angled brush, and I'm just gonna be dipping into that and just highlighting. My sail right here. My sail. I love this highlighter. I want to get the the palette. I really want it. I'll we'll get it soon. Right there. I need to clean underneath my eyes. I'm just growing it. A little bit on my nose. My upper lip. It's really, really pretty. Totally try this one. It's really good. Alright. So now I'm gonna get me a little brush. See if I can find it. I found it. It's so hard for me to find this little brush. Like a tiny little brush. It's a Morphe M508, and I'm gonna be using that same highlighter to highlight the inner corners of my eyes and my uh, brow bone. Any type of brush. Um, this, this is a Luxie 514 blush brush. You know, because it's really soft and like really loose. I don't like it to put any product on, but I like it to just to go over my makeup and just kind of sweep off anything like any hairs or any loose eyeshadow, anything that I might have dropped on myself. Just to brush myself, and then I'm gonna be using this. The setting spray, or this spray, it's uh, uh, the Per Essence Coconut Rose Hydrating Face Mist. You guys can get this for basically $6.99. It has a tag right there for Marshalls. You should have different scents. You want to have it lasts forever. Poof, I'm just going crazy on your face. <laughs> oh, okay. I haven't done my lipstick, but let me show you how this looks. I think it looks pretty good, right? Look at the highlight, though. Ooh, girl! Looking good, looking good, looking good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's basically the look. What do you guys think? Do a like, do a like. Yeah. Anyway, let me see what lipstick I want to use and liner. And let's do that. This one. I think I'm just gonna go in with um with this. I think I'm gonna go in with my NYX liquid suede in the color soft spoken, and that's basically it. Finished look, guys. What do you think? I think it looks super cute, right? Okay, guys, so that's basically it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching Vlogmas Day 16. I just kind of showed you guys how to make this look and create this look and just something easy that you guys can use on, on the go 
when you guys are shopping or doing your whatever. I just kind of put my hair in a ponytail and call it a day, put some mousse on. And I'm currently wearing this number combi shirt and just some jeans. And I'm gonna be wearing my tennis shoes. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much more for watching this video. I'll link everything down below that I used or mentioned in this video. As well, um, as well as um where I got those lights, all that stuff, my products, all the things that I mentioned, and thank you thank you so much for watching again. Don't forget to subscribe down below, comment if you have any questions or suggestions, and don't forget to like this video, share with all your friends and family, and hit that notification bell so you guys are notified when I have a new video up. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys for Vlogmas 17 tomorrow. Bye guys. Thank you.